first impressions they ever mastered was a man called Terry Wogan. He's getting on a bit. Isn't that right, Terry? Wibbly wobbly tippy toe. Sung for your appropriate children these, you know. I had a phone call from the agent the other day. He says, Terry, we've got a great gig for you for the Paranoid Society. So I thought the Paranoid Society, that'd be a good gig. He said, there's a guy called John who's going to ring you up in five minutes with all the details. So I was waiting for the phone call. The phone goes and says, hello. He says, hello, Mr. Wogan. It's John from the Paranoid Society. I said, I was just talking about you. And he put the bloody phone down. <laughs> anyway, Mr. Simon Cowell, Louis Walsh is very upset about not being on the panel this year. He's very upset. Isn't that right, Louis? Simon, I'm so annoyed. I am not on the panel of Britain's Got Talent. It'll be a disaster. Honest to God. Simon, you know I own the stage. I must be on that panel, please. I mean, Gary Barlow did my head in last time. <laughs> unbelievable. And also unbelievable is David Dickinson. He's back on ITV with the real deal. Hello, Simon. It's David Dickinson here on Dickinson's Real Deal. This guy is the real deal. You've got to get him on the show. Cheap as chips. Oh, they're all coming through. And also we've got 2012 coming up. Yes, Capello's men. Will we win over there in Europe? But I'm going to ask him a thing now. Mr. Capello, give me three reasons why you like English football. The ball, uh, goal, uh, money. <laughs> Capello, I knew it was all about the money. David Beckham, how are you doing these days? Well, I'd just like to say, you know, it's very nice to be here tonight. And uh, <laughs> I'd just like to say uh, Victoria's got a new book in, uh, coming out very soon. And this one comes with crayons. <laughs> And also, staying on the theme of football, Alan Hansen. How are you, Alan? Well, I tell you what, Terry, there's no such thing as a good goal. Just bad defending. All over the place, every the ball. Mick McCarthy's not happy, though, about going out of the FA Cup. Are you, Mick McCarthy? Oh, the bloody hell do you think I feel? I mean, absolutely. It's hard work doing more grams and wonders, you know. Unbelievable. I mean, my goalkeeper's he's terrible. He was in the dressing room the other day, put his hands in his head, and he dropped it, you know. <laughs> 